I know, honey, you don't like this any more than we do. When he first arrived at the Owl Rescue Center, this juvenile eagle was exhausted and hungry, but volunteers here were confident in time he would recover. So let's see how he does with eating. He seemed healthy enough, but as the days passed, he got worse. A vet determined he might have an infection. He's just been a bit of a mystery as, as to what you know, is ailing him. He's had a rough day. Okay, you coming this way? It's been a rough couple of weeks for this guy. I'll throw you a life jacket, but I'm not one to fit you. In early September, a fisherman started videotaping the exhausted eagle as he swam towards his boat. Come here, come here. It almost seems like the eagle realizes the fisherman is his only hope. Uh, what the hell am I going to do with you now? What he did was let the eagle rest on his boat, hoping he'd be able to fly away when his waterlogged wings dried out. But a few hours later, after realizing the bird was sick, he called a volunteer who flew it to the Owl Rescue Centre. They end up fishing and they, they grab onto a fish that's just too large and instinctually they won't let go. That's their food and sometimes the fish can pull them under. He's in intensive care now. Sorry, sweetie. Over 500 birds of prey are brought here every year to recover. Birds of prey have a 60% mortality rate in their first year. They have to learn how to fly and hunt all at the same time. Uh, but this guy was lucky. Uh, his name is 14-368. <laughs> <laughs> no names. We try not to get attached. There will be months of rehab for 14-368. If the antibiotics work, his chances for recovery are good. I would go 50-50 at this point. Deborah Goble, CBC News, Delta.